Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is Amy. Uh, Greg and I um, kind of did some urban gardening without children today. We were able to get a whole bunch of things accomplished. We did a lot of weeding and organizing. And uh, this area is, we basically, I'll show you a little bit. And then the kids came in the garden a little later. We were able to weed this whole area and straighten it up a lot and put the, uh, the lines in. This is a much bigger area than we had last year. And the back wall still has poison ivy. We're still treating that and our nice little scarecrow that we have to help out. But uh, yes, so we got this whole area done today. So for, for plotting, for planting. So Greg and I worked really, really, really hard on this weeding. Look at that, nice nice full area and then we and then we did this whole other area we we did this whole area you see that so yes we got this whole area done this whole area which is going to be really this is a new area this year this one we didn't have this area, we used to have like the tires in it and like a tire garden, but we opened it up more. And then the back area, and then the back area back there. But yes, our you remember our tent thing? It broke uh, from all the water weight. So we were able to return it and got our money back and then we have to uh, refine another one. So yeah, Titus and uh, Lucas are playing. And then there's Abby. Say hi. Nine, so we have all our tires six, five, and our thing that the kids like to play on. But guess what? This area that we um, weeded. Uh, look at all the weeds again. You see this? This is like very, very, like all the weeds. All the weeds in that area again. And then we have the weeds outside, but the weeds outside are a lot of dandelions. Now, now this is dandelion right here. This is called dandelion greens. The dandelion, uh, what's it called? The dandelions. And the dandelion greens are very, very good for you. So I actually did not pull the dandelions thinking that maybe I could just eat the dandelion greens, which we actually we have a lot of them and uh, we've been um, we actually cut a lot of them today so we still have a lot of work to do we're gonna plant seed very 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 shortly and here's my daughter playing with a nice PVC pipe and we just let them play a little bit when they're done with their work but today I actually didn't have them do any work today I uh, just had them come over in the nice weather. So she's making, what are you making, an obstacle course? She's making some kind of obstacle course or something. Somebody jump over, see? I don't know what she's doing, but something. I have these little things that they like to jump on. And then the tires they like to jump on and play games. And so we're pretty excited. We're going to plant some seed. And we're going to hopefully get a new can uh, tent. And such a beautiful, beautiful weather. No mosquitoes now, so far. And, um, yeah, so we have our tables and our chairs, but we're hoping to get a, One a tent. One character your power to, to get partners. Um, no, it's not the baby. So, yeah. No. So, we're pretty excited. Now we're figuring out how we can continue to gather some water uh, in the water barrels without the tent. We have to figure out a tent that could hold water weight. And, like, you know, we can put holes in it to be able to gather the water like we did last year and that worked really really well but uh, our tent just kind of uh, messed up this year just buckled and broke and so what we want to do is um, my husband actually went to the dollar store to um, get some funnels see if we can um, 
use funnels somehow into like the lid or something use a funnel and then gather the water as it rains and we'll put a mesh over it so then the water the mosquitoes won't be able to get back so you know it's a work in progress to gather water and um, pretty excited about the garden this year and you know this I just tell you this land that we're on is borrowed land uh, the owner did allow us to farm it and he was excited to see us gardening it and he owns it and he pays the taxes he pays everything but he gave us permission to garden it we don't know how long we'll have it for but um i'll turn it around a little bit we don't know how long we will have the garden the privilege of having the garden this is our third year uh gardening it and we're looking forward to this year very and we thank god for it and when we sit here we say thank you god for letting us have this blessing because land in uh the new york area um is very expensive to farm and we just have like a little front garden and then we had some in the back but this is like more than we ever thought we would have and we're just really happy and blessed by god to be able to use it as long as we have it and our desire is to you know get a house that has space to be able to garden or farm and greg went to farming school at agricultural school and so he has a desire to desire to do that too and i've always been like an environmentalist and so like to raise your own food and everything just it kind of like just kind of coming together so i thank god for this and just the privilege to be able to have my kids be homeschooled and also be able to have them be able to plant a seed and to water and take care of it and then be able to um, to plant uh, to pick it and then eat it and they were instrumental with God's help God the Lord of the harvest were able to put all you know the energy to take care of it and then be able to eat it children need to know where their food comes from so it's very important it's very important to be able to um, do let the children grow their food and eat it and know where the food comes from okay gotta go Lucas uh, needs something okay take care God bless like and subscribe bye